Hello agents, this is a quick video to recap on yesterday's state of the game. Please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you're new here and like watching the division content. So there was some bad news and good news yesterday and I'm just going to go right into the bad news. Codename Nightmare was teased at Ubisoft Forward in September and a lot of us was excited for this including myself. It was coming this winter and it was going to be a one-time experience taking place at Kenley College. Codename Nightmare is no longer taking place in this form. Yannick was on the show and you could see his disappointment as he had to tell everyone that this was no more and instead codename Nightmare would just be an extra power event coming in February. It will be a different sort of event and it will be special but it won't be what was originally wanted. The reason given was how tough a year it has been with Covid and they have had to alter their plans which to be fair is 100% acceptable for me and I appreciate their transparency before season 4 goes live next week. Don't get me wrong I am unhappy with this because I was excited for it but Covid has had an effect on everyone's lives and the gaming industry has suffered too. I just have my fingers crossed that year 3 of the Division 2 hasn't been too affected as I expect big things from it. So moving on there was good news too as we already know next week on tuesday the 8th of december season 4 will be going live with this i'll be bringing back the slayer which is a gun that shoots snowballs that a lot of us just have in our stashes you'll now be able to get a level 41 to start from the loot goblin come tuesday and for logging in after tuesday if you don't already have it you'll get the santa hat as well but also they have added a new christmas theme mask to the game that you'll be able to get from a hunter come tuesday they won't say which one but i'll have a video for you on the day the rest of the state of the game was mainly nothing that we didn't already know. They discussed TU12 and Season 4. They did mention that future seasons would include optimization caches. They discussed a new global event in Season 4 called Golden Bullet. With this, random enemies would start charging a Golden Bullet, and if they did get it, they will cause a lot of damage with it. But killing them and getting the bullet yourself will give you the extra damage. But there was one more thing as well, and that is on February the 2nd, the Division 2 will unlock up to 4K 60 frames on the new PS5 and Xbox series, which I think it's great news again. It's just a shame that the good news has been overshadowed by the bad news in this state of the game. I can see a lot of negativity from people already about this and although I am also upset, I think people do just need to appreciate the times we are in and what a good job they are doing considering those times. Thank you for the transparency massive and as I said earlier, I just hope year 3 has not been too affected. This is the end of the video now though, it was a very quick recap video for you. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to leave you with a sick new outfit coming in a new Outguard event in Season 4. Let me know your thoughts in the comments i'll be back with more division content from tuesday have a good weekend everyone and peace out